Who would like to uh, help me with problem number one? So Mrs. Smith goes into a store and orders a total of 85 blue and green balloons for her daughter's birthday. However, she wants 25 more green than blue balloons. How many balloons of each color will she take home? So I made the blue balloons stand for G and then the green, I mean the blue balloons B and then the green balloons G. And then I know that B plus G equals 85, which means, and G can also mean B plus 25. Mm -hmm. so I added B plus B plus 25 equals 85. And then two Bs are 85 minus 25. So I subtracted 85 minus 25 equals 60. So that means two Bs is 60. And then I divided 60 divided by two equals 30. So then that means B is 30. Then it says, she wants 25 more green than blue balloons. So I added 30 plus 25, and that equals 55. So that means there are 55 green balloons and then 30 blue balloons. So basically, this is the way Tanishka set it up, right? She called B the number of balloons, right? So the green balloons is B plus 25. The blue balloons is just B. So she says two of these plus this equals 85, right? Yeah. So uh, you did that, but what I was hoping you would do is do this. So this and this is the same. They're equal, right? So <clears throat> this plus this is 85. So like Tanish said, we take the 85, we subtract 25, we get what? 60. So we know this and this equals 60, right? So we divide by 2 to get 30. So that means this is 30 and this is 30. Everybody with me? Yeah. So then how, ma how many green balloons were there? 30 plus 25 is 55. How many blue balloons? 30. And it totals 85, right? So this is the way I, I, I would like you to set this up. Do you know why? As it includes a picture as well. As having the it's simpler than this. And do you know why? What else? These problems will come again once or twice in the future. Will these kind of problems come once or twice in the future again? No, many more times. They'll come hundreds, thousands of times. Will it always be about balloons? No. no. Will the quantities always be the same? No. No. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter because the logic is always the same. Right? So learn to do it this way. In fact, you remember me telling you before that it's important, more important that you learn how to do the certain kinds of problems. It's more important than individual answers to individual problems. Right? Because if you know how to do a certain kind of problem, no matter what the numbers are, no matter what the circumstances are, you know the lo logic to solve it, right? So, you want me to give you another analogy of what that's like? Getting individual 
answers to problems, learning how to do problems. So if you get individual answers right, let me <coughs> That's the same as me catching you one fish. You cook it, you eat it, you're satisfied for one meal. If you learn how to do the problems so that other problems like this come along, that's like teaching you how to fish so you can catch your own fish. What's more important, this or this? This, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm stressing that you learn how to do the problems when I show you. That's more important. 